With a few notable exceptions, most Hollywood cowboys look like this. But today I want to tell you the story of a real life black cowboy named George McJunkin who made an incredible discovery way back at the turn of the 20th century that changed the history of North America as we know it. The final week of August of 1908, a massive storm came through the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and wiped out the town of Folsom, New Mexico. George McJunkin was out riding the range doing cowboy stuff after the storm on the Crowfoot Ranch where he was the foreman. McJunkin had to pull back the reins on his horse to stop because a gully had been opened up on the side of the hill where he was riding where there had never been a gully before. In this deep arroyo, McJunkin found massive bison bones. These bison were different. They were seven feet tall. During the final years of his life, McJunkin tried desperately to get archaeologists to come and do a proper excavation of the Folsom site, which is now called Wild Horse Arroyo. But he died in 1922, and it was not until 1926 and 27 that officials realized that he had come upon the greatest discovery in the history of American archaeology. American Indians had long insisted that they had lived in the Americas for tens of thousands of years, but archaeologists were very skeptical. At the Folsom site, they found evidence of projectile points stuck into the ribs of animals that had been extinct for more than 10,000 years. Carbon dating now shows that what McJunkin had found at the Folsom site was a hunt that had happened 12,450 years ago. George McJunkin's discovery proved that humans have been in the Americas for thousands of years earlier than we previously thought. Y'all need to listen to black cowboys.